life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. That's Helen Keller. And I am Tamia Dow, and I'm here to talk to you about the object that tells a story in my life that I have discovered or rediscovered or stumbled upon or <laughs> however you want to say it. It is my passport. This is an object that brings me so much pleasure. And when I look at it, I get so excited because my passport is so much a part of me, the world traveler. My passport, when I open the pages of it, I see all of the places that I've traveled, the adventures that I've enjoyed, the people that I have met. I look at the stamps in my passport and I know that I'm truly a citizen of the world. I have been blessed to stand on top of Table Mountain in South Africa, overlooking Cape Town. It's so beautiful. And I enjoy floating on the Dead Sea in Israel. And I would so not recommend it if you have a scrape because it is salty water. <laughs> I enjoyed running in the fields in Russia. And in, in Armavir, Russia really enjoyed it. I was there for a wedding. Russia, passport. What else, what else? I enjoy being in the Bundestag in Berlin and overlooking Berlin and also enjoying the experience of sitting at a coffee table on a street in Berlin and feeling like I was in an episode of Mission Impossible or The Born Experience. I was right there, my passport and I. <laughs> So exciting. And then I'm so excited about having been by a giant iceberg. I was like 20 feet away from a giant iceberg in St. John, Newfoundland. Yes, a giant iceberg. And then, oh my goodness, talk about being in the Louvre at Paris and looking at the beautiful pictures, priceless, timeless, amazing pictures, and then climbing to the top of the Eiffel Tower and looking at the beautiful city of Paris from above all oh, by the use of my passport, which as I went through my house during this quarantine, I was finding all of these wonderful memories. Like, for example, when I rode on the Indian Pacific Railroad from Perth, Australia to Sydney, Australia, and then disembarked from there and got and climbed the Sydney Harbor Bridge with my passport. So what am I saying? Oh my goodness, I love to travel the world and I've been on so many amazing adventures. And I have some quick tips for you before I round it off in sharing about my amazing passport is when you're traveling, make sure you use the bathroom when you get it because you never know when you'll get it again. Trust me, I had to use the bush in Uganda and I would never do it again, okay? And I had to use a hole in Krasnodar, Russia. Don't recommend it. Charge your phones when you get a plug, charge it right away. And then when you get a chance to eat cooked warm food that you're familiar with, do it. All right, so I enjoyed you guys today sharing about my passport. My passport allows me with a positive attitude and optimism to be able to run the world, rule the world, and have many adventures along the way. And I had friends that I met along the way. And I do enjoy traveling by myself. So some safe travel tips is always let somebody know where you are. But I tell you what, enjoy the pages of your passport because that's life. And I choose to live life to the fullest and enjoy adventures along the way. So I did it because I wanted to. It was my dream to do so. It is my life to fulfill. And so I pick up my passport and I travel the world. Will you join me?